Carter felt for his folded rifle and squeezed into the crack in the rock. A few feet in, it turned into a tunnel. The passage was big enough for the rest of the group, but quickly became completely dark. His helmet didn't have night vision, so Carter turned on the light attached to his rifle. Walking slowly and carefully, all Carter could hear was his own breath and an occasional dripping from somewhere. From time to time, wind whistled through the tunnel. That was an indicator of an exit. Here and there, he noticed insect creatures that looked like little spiral noodles with innumerable legs that fled from him in fright. He lifted his calm and said, Come in, Commander. Lena answered instantly, Zero distortion, come in. Any intel on these little insects that look like noodles? Jimbo's voice came in reply. Those things crawl all over the place. They are called sictos, harmless to humans and equipment, but totally annoying. Roger that. Cutter returned his attention to the tunnel. A new noise had joined the dripping sound. It was a slow, soft humming. Carefully, he moved around the next bend and shone the rifle light around. Possible contact with life form, he reported. Do not confront. We know nothing about the creatures here, Lena ordered. I'm afraid it's too late for that, he whispered. The rifle's light had found the source of the hum. It was a creature on six legs with smooth orange skin that had blue stripes extending upwards on its torso. And it had a slowly twitching tail with a bushy end. Long, sharp, curved claws reflected the light. The head was broad and elongated with many pointed teeth, but without eyes. The way it stayed there reminded Carter of a predator cat. He knew instinctively this was a hunter. It jumped towards him. Reacting on pure adrenaline, Carter fired a shot. It missed, and the ricochet made the beast angry as well. It jumped again. Razor-sharp claws scratched Carter's armor. Four of the legs pounced on him while the foremost two struck. He resisted with the rifle, while the animal's saliva dripped into his face, and its stinking breath fanned his hair. With one hand, he fumbled at his side, squeezing his hand past a meaty paw as the thing growled and roared, and the noise echoed terrifyingly loud around the walls and ceiling. His mind raced feverishly. Since the creature had no eyes, it could not be blinded. The rifle was good for defending, but it also prevented him from shooting. He wouldn't be able to fight the power and speed of the beast forever. His hand found the pistol, and he slipped it up, firing eight bullets at close range into its chest. The creature staggered back, but didn't seem to want to give up. It struck out, and Carter was catapulted away. He rolled out of the way just before the beast landed on him again. The thing threw its head back and forth, and Carter clubbed it with, his, with the rifle. It rushed him again, but he ducked out of the way so that it crashed against the wall. The pistol cracked several more times without landing a bullet. The creature was fast and scrambled up the craggy wall, where it hung by its claws, whipping the bushy tail and listening for Carter's next move. Carter knew he was gasping too loud to hide, so he aimed and shot it in the hind leg. The creature thrust two paws out and snapped his uniform. The others were shouting over the comm by now, but he couldn't pay attention. Instead of waiting for the thing to reel him in, Carter slammed his body against the beast. Surprised, it retracted its claws and dropped him. Feeling around, he grasped a rock. When the creature threw itself at him again, he slammed it into its side. He pulled back and this time aimed for the throat. That slowed it down. Choking and rasping, it retreated a bit. Again, Carter aimed the pistol and fired. The creature slipped down the wall, trailing an odd orange liquid, its claws scratching feebly. Carter shouldered the rifle. Still slipping down, bleeding orange, the creature growled maliciously. It had plenty of fight left in it. Carter pressed the barrel of the rifle directly onto its forehead and fired repeatedly. Brains blew all over the rocks. Carter sacked with relief and said, 
That's what you get for messing with me.